Let's get it, your boy DDG. Make sure you tune in to Taylor Time TV. Period. Y'all need to stop yeah. on your door right now and tune into Taylor Town TV YouTube channel. She's next up. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Taylor Town TV, and on today's episode, we are pulling up on DDG and Deshay at the Kevin Gates tour and meet and greet. We've been waiting out here for an hour. It's about to rain, as you can see. So hopefully he's coming soon. Okay. So, in this episode, I am going to be telling you guys about my experience going to the DDG meet and greet. I don't know if you guys have been seeing, DDG has been promoting his meet and greet while he is on tour with Kevin Gates for the Kaza tour. So, it has been so lit. Okay, I just want to preface this video by saying before this meet and greet, I didn't know much about DDG or Deshay Frost. I knew that they were famous YouTubers, but as far as like their actual videos or what their videos were about, I really didn't know that much. My intentions going to this meet and greet was to meet famous YouTubers that were just vets in the game, get some advice from them and vlog because I haven't recorded that much for you guys. So those are my intentions and what ended up happening was way more than I could have bargained for or expected. Now, roll the footage. We've been waiting out here for an hour. It's about to rain as you can see, so hopefully he's coming soon. And this little potted plant to have somewhere to sit because the, the business owner of the establishment we're going in won't even let us in. So my whole thing is, how are you having a meeting? I don't know who that's on, but you're having a meet and greet and you're not even letting the fans come inside to sit down while we wait for you. We're out here, it's about to storm. This is like ridiculous. The meet and greet started at five. It's six o'clock right now. The actual concert starts at seven. Are you still coming? First things first, the DDG tickets in my city were $100. And I remember that the tickets definitely said that they were gonna tell us the location of the actual meet and greet in the upcoming days. And that the meet and greet and the Kevin Gates tour that DDG was on was not the same thing and was not at the same location. So days go by and we hear nothing. Nothing saying where it's gonna be, you know, what time it's gonna be pretty much nothing. Then it was the day of, and I remember I was calling the concert venue like, hey, when are we gonna know where the meet and greet is? And the people at the concert were telling us we have nothing to do with this ZDG meet and greet. Kevin Gates meet and greet is a virtual meet and greet and that it's like online only, he's gonna call you or something like that. We don't know anything about this DDG meet and greet. And I just remember thinking like, damn i got scammed like your girl got scammed they got my money like what's going on damn. next thing i know and i see that it says like the location has been announced you will be meeting at this like bistro cafe type of thing we didn't exactly know that shay was gonna be there per se because he wasn't on the meet and greet but i was like you know how you're like looking through the person's story and actually snapchat just to like constantly be seeing what he was doing and i saw the shay there so i was like okay perfect this is too birds and one stone. Y'all, we making friends at this point. Like, this everybody back here in Chile. Hey, good, though. Yeah, it is good. You think he coming? Hey, he better come. Make sure he on his way. He just late. But don't the show start at 7? Oh, uh, Kevin Gates, yeah, his show start at 7. He's late. definitely over there. Yeah, he definitely gonna be late. Yeah. Seven. I think he gonna pull up, but I don't know how long he gonna stay. So, we finna find out. Hey, 873. Marco D flipping scripts, you know. Okay. Merch, merch on sale. Anybody want a shirt, they get a shirt. Next thing we know, boom, six o'clock hits. And that's when I picked up the camera and I'm just like, what's going on? Like, DDG, where are you? Are you coming at all? Because we just found out about this location, mind you. And now you're not here an hour into it. And we knew that this meet and greet was before his concert and the concert started at seven. So we were like, how is he gonna get here at six for this meet and greet and the concert starts at seven? Um, it was the same street where the occurrence and issue happened with Dreams also, we were thinking like, maybe he knows like this isn't really a safe area. Maybe he doesn't want to come here. And then finally, lo and behold, we see a Sprinter van come and it's a Mercedes van. And I'm like, that's him. That gotta be him, they be in Sprinter. Oh wait, oh, <laughs> oh right here. I ain't know where he just came from. I just wanted like the most time to be able to kind of have a chit chat conversation with you guys, we'll see. 
So he was really cool. He looks exactly the same as he does on social media. You guys know DDG is a cutie. Hey y'all, it's the vibe. His security guard ended up taking the pictures, which were trash. And I let him know that I was like, your pictures are trash. DDG was so sweet. Like he even, I asked him for a drop, which is basically like when you ask someone to, you know, say their name and promote what you're doing. <laughs> Why? You think if I like do some background is loud enough? We got to do it over. Do it over? Okay, yeah, let's do it over. Yeah. Y'all looking out, I know, because I do not have time to be on. Charge for that. I'm not trying to be, oh, how much? <laughs> I got cash up. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, he's so fucking cool. Like, he didn't even have to say that. He could have just been like, I don't care. But it was just like the YouTuber in him. And I, because I was so nervous, like, I didn't have my cameraman. I usually have so I was scared that I was like not getting good angles and he's taller than me obviously everyone's taller than me I'm 410 but it was a really good experience can you say tune in to Taylor Time TV what you say tune in to Taylor Time TV tune in Taylor Time TV hey. thank you wait so do we get like a whole picture did you say I'm what's your name Taylor I'm totally 410 I've been doing YouTube since like January like it? Yeah, I hit 20k, so oh, I'm trying. I'm, I'm getting up there. It took me a long time to get Did it really? But like, I had like two videos that went super viral, so that's what like that was my. Home. I did the Saweetie mukbang and I did how to start a clothing line, and that one got like 150, and Sweetie got like 30k. So yeah. Yeah. Let me turn this off because now I'm just like. <laughs> After that, I just walked over to Deshae and I'm like, Deshae? Because I'm like, you guys know, like, you guys have to think this is also new to me. And he's like, yeah, and I'm like, okay, awesome. Like, let me get a drop from you and everything to the music. Like Thank you. Do you? Cream. Baby food. Oh, my outfit. Yeah, this is Skims. I'm trying to get a sponsorship. I thought you said you liked my bag. I was like, well, now the music playing, he said it was gonna get copyrighted. That's what he said. That's why he paused it, like, when he said it. But, nah, if you, if you was Like, louder, right now? Yeah, we louder than the music right now. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm trying to yell and shit. Yeah, we louder than the music. Okay, try. Hey, this shit, uh... Taylor, say... Taylor. Yeah, your name, and then tune in to Taylor Time TV. Hey, you all need to stop with the fuck y'all. Wait, what's the channel name? Taylor Time TV. Taylor Time TV. So I was talking to the manager, I was talking to the security guards, everybody, like I was talking to everyone because I just like to work the room and just be really sociable and fun and get to know everybody and introduce myself. That's just the type of person that I am. And I remember DDG looked at his, he went over to his manager and he was just like, hey, do we have extra tickets? And we were like, what? Do we have extra tickets? Because mind you, this meet and greet was $100. And I don't know how much the tickets were because I was just like, look, your girl is not going out tonight because I have work tomorrow. This was a Thursday, you guys. So I didn't get the actual tickets to the Kevin Gates concert. I just wanted to meet him and get my footage and get my content. So when he had his manager take our names down to get tickets, we were just so excited. Like it was like maybe a couple of us, a few of us, like some, some pretty girls, pretty much the pretty girls that were in there. So you never know, try your luck if you're a cute girl. The manager was like, hey, I need your ID. And I'm like, oh my gosh, here we go. Like everybody thinks I'm like 16. Him and the security guard were like, are you 16? And I'm like, no, I'm 25. Like it's so crazy, but I'm like, I'm so used to it. I always have my ID like ready to pull out of my titty, ready to pull out of my bra. Like, you know what I mean? I'm like, here, everybody asks. So they're like, what, you're 25? And I'm like, yeah. And DDG was like, what, you're 25? And I was like, yeah, look at my ID. And he looked at it and he was like, oh, you are 25. And I'm like, yes, I'm 25. Like, yes, me, yeah. Well, I thought that was really dope because you know, don't nobody want to be on no R. Kelly vibes or nothing like that. So I was like, okay, I see y'all, get y'all compliance, doing what y'all need to do. Anywho, so we ended up going to the concert. And I remember I got an Uber because I was like, I don't drink and I plan to drink, period. Just because like, I wanna have a good time. And I was like, okay, so let me get an Uber. So I got my Uber 
and when we got there it was so packed like the cars were in traffic trying to get in there my uber was like yeah uh, you should probably just get out and i was like what and he's like look there's a golf cart right there like why don't you get in that golf cart golf cart pulled over and they were like get in the golf cart get in the golf cart and i was like no i don't know you it's like packed with probably like however many dudes can be on a golf cart like five dudes and they had on these big chains and they're like okay this is your last chance to get on the golf cart and i was like you know what whatever i'm getting on the golf cart make sure y'all take me straight to the concert venue because mind you guys this is a big parking lot with like one two three four probably five strip clubs on it and then it's an actual like concert venue on it as well this is all in the same lot so there's so many different places everybody's going and that you can go so it was packed. Like the, the, the dude driving was like, oh, you don't know us. And I was like, you good gang? And he was like, yeah. I'm like, no, I don't know you. What's your name? Like, my name is Taylor. I go by Taylor Time TV. Nice to meet you. And he's just like, oh, we're with Kevin Gates. And he pulled up his chain and his chain says something like BWA. I guess that's like Kevin Gates. I don't know you guys I'm sorry like you're probably like who does this girl listen to what is what does this girl do I be so out of the loop y'all I was like okay cool dope whatever thanks for the ride so as you guys can see right here I'm turning up with them turning up their golf cart they was like yeah turn up I'm like yeah let's have a good time we get to like the backstage area I say backstage because we were outside so backstage was really like the tour bus area and it was so dope. It was like a couple people, you know, a couple cuties from the meet and greet, a couple baddies from the meet and greet. And it was just such a fun time, you guys, kicking it with them. Like it was so fun. It was exactly what you would imagine like hanging out with your friends at a kickback would be, you know what I mean? Like we were, you know, we were having our drinks, we were having our shots, we played Connect Four, we played Uno, there was space, there was dice. It was such a vibe and it was such a good time. And I just loved it so much. I wish I could have like, the reason that I don't have footage from actually being back there is because one, that's doing a little bit too much. It's giving a little like a groupie, I'm excited to be here. And every time that I've been backstage with an artist or something, they really just don't like that. It's really not cool. Like it's not good backstage etiquette. And two, they always ask you to put up your phones or they will take your phones. In this case, they did not take our phones, which I appreciated because I always feel a little uncomfortable without my phone. And they, so they just was like, hey, put up your phones, put your phones in your purse. No problem, I already know the vibes. This is not my first rodeo. Like, I'm like, I hang out with people all the time that come in this city because they know that I'm cool and I'm not gonna chit chat. Like the only reason why I'm even on here telling you guys is because it was so wholesome and so kicking it with your favorite cousin, your homeboy that I feel like it's really not a big deal to mention it on YouTube. I mean, if anybody does feel a way about it, I will take this video down if they are uncomfortable with it. It was a lot of fun. Kevin Gates had his own tour bus. DDG and them had their own tour bus. I forgot to mention who all was there. So I don't have the exact names because again, they were new to me, but like I was asking the girl that I was with and she said it was like, I think someone named Vaughn, DDG's cousin, and some people from Zooted. And like I said, Deshae was there and DDG was there. He literally stayed until three o'clock in the morning and I had work the next day. But I just said goodbye to everybody and that I was about to leave. And DDG gave me a hug and I was just like, you deserve everything positive and great that happens in your career. And it was a great experience. So yeah, if you have merch or clothing or art, definitely go up there because he showed everybody love, took pictures, all of that. So now I need you to binge watch the past episodes and catch up on the new episodes. And I'll see you in the next episode. Taylor Time TV tuning off.